Uh, it's been a very busy day for retailers, as you know. We're getting some same, same store sales numbers out even as we speak. What is the outlook for retail, both on the consumer side and the small business spending side? Joining us this morning is Steve Oslin. He's the president and CEO of Office Depot. Good to see you this morning, Steve. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Uh, already, the disparity between these companies is pretty huge. Walmart saying is, is guiding to the low side. Uh, others like uh, American Eagle and Kohl's to the upside. When it comes to your part of the business, what does the picture look like? Well, Office Depot tends to be a little more constant than some of those businesses. We're not reliant on fashion or any of the kinds of trends that I think that you're seeing whipsaw some of these companies. You know, Office Depot was founded 20 years ago tomorrow. And Congratulations. Thank you. And we were founded on taking care of business. And so most of our sales are to small businesses. 80% of what we sell in the store goes to small businesses up and down the street. And so what we see is a, a great environment for small businesses. Unemployment is low. Uh, people have access to capital and so forth. So I think you know what most people don't realize is that most of the job creation in America is among small businesses. And so you see these uh, people with three, four, five different employees, and they're growing like crazy. Right. The market uh, wants to believe that story, uh, that the Fed is, is, is done, uh, that gas energy prices are going to help the consumer going into the holiday season, even that we may get a break on this big housing bust that everybody keeps talking about. But the survey here at the Business Council is nowhere near as robust. You took part in that survey. Are you as glum as the numbers uh, uh, sort of depict? No, I, I'm not. And, uh, you know, at Office Depot, we were a little bit less cyclical than some of the members uh, in the survey today, and we're less manufacturing oriented. We don't manufacture, we, we take care of the end business. And so the services business is doing very well, and uh, all these small businesses are engaged mostly in the service sector. And so we see more of a steady kind of flow of our business. And with the growth in the jobs coming at the small end of the business, that helps our kind of sector versus the consumer sector. Is there any level at which you are being more cautious, whether it's on inventory, CapEx, anything like that? Well, we're always cautious in those areas. Anything that r relates to, to you know, tying up our cash. We've been a, done a great job of in, uh, improving our ROIC. We've gone from a 10 ROIC up to a 13, 14 ROIC in the past year and a half by, by making sure that we watch our inventories and in our cash. But I think that all American businesses are doing that today. Mm. Uh, but Office Depot's business is uh, only half retail. Half of our business is delivery. And so we're able then to sync up the delivery and the, the receipt of the goods and the delivery of the goods a little bit right. better yeah. than a lot of retailers. And the stocks reflected a lot of that uh, diversification. Good to see you. Have yes. a great day here today, Steve. Thanks Steve very Oblin much. Steve Oglin of uh, Office Depot. And uh, Aaron, we'll send it back to you now.